Hello, this is Gary from Lack and Leder, which means paint and leather. We have here a brand new Tesla Model 3, which suffers with vibration about 100 kilometers per hour, which is about 60 miles per hour. Joe is our client and told us, and we are very technical interested, so we found a solution to show, uh, to show you why this Tesla has this vibration. It's very easy and come on. Here you can see the very simple test setup. We use a laser which produces a horizontal, horizontal line on the rim and later on on the tire. So let's start turning. This is our first test with the rim. We will turn it and then you see that the rim runs very smooth and exactly without having any problems. Now we are looking on the tire surface and here you will see that this tire is not round. It has a flat spot. So let's start it. Remember, the light is not moving. Our laser is on his stand and very still. But here you can see that the light is flickering and this will make the vibration into the whole car depending of the speed. So you can balance a tire as often as you, as you will. It will not bring anything because uh, this is a lifetime problem of this tire. So in my opinion, it's not Tesla's fault, it's the fault of the tire manufacturer. So in my opinion, this tire should not be used on Tesla cars because they are much too heavy and the tire construction itself is too weak. So this problem will be as long as the car, as long as this tire exists, you will have the vibration in the steering wheel. So we will check now the other tires to see if they are the same or maybe even more. Here we can see the right front tire uh, where you have the same problem but not as strong as the left front tire. Now we are on the left rear position. Joe is sitting in the car, the car is on the lift and he's a neutral, so I'm able to turn the wheel by my hand. In my opinion, it's here much better than on the front axle. You see a little bit differ in the light, but not as much as on the left front wheel. So now let's check the last wheel. So now we are on the right rear tire and I show you how this runs. Well, in my opinion, it also has a small problem, not as much as the left front tire, but you can see that the light is also moving, which should not move. So here is our conclusion. In our mind, it's not Tesla's fault. It's not the fault of the car itself. It's the fault of the wheel manufacturer. 
uh, which makes the vibration coming uh, to the steering wheel. You can balance such a tire as often as you want. You won't, you won't, you will never be able to solve this problem. You will thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Bye.